uh, here we are uh, now going to discuss the application that is the second application of potentiometer which is to find the internal resistance of a given cell see the formula for the internal resistance of a cell is given by r is equal to e by v minus 1 into capital r where e is the emf v is the terminal potential difference across the cell uh, and R is the external resistance associated with the cell. This is the formula which we have derived earlier when we were studying this uh, internal resistance. So you can check that part to uh, see how this uh, formula has come for the internal resistance. Now, uh, what we are going to discuss is uh, the cell which is provided here having an EMF E and uh, it is connected to the potentiometer as shown here two points A and B are there B is connected to the rheostat then through a key it is connected to the battery the positive terminal of the battery this is called driving battery or driving cell which um, is connected to the point A and the cell whose internal resistance is to be measured its put, uh, positive terminal is also connected to the point A and the negative terminal is connected to the uh, galvanometer which in turn is collected to the jockey this jockey can uh, get, uh, get itself in contact with any point through the potentiometer wire from point A to B now an external circuit is also connected to the battery uh, from the positive terminal a rest resistance box is taken uh, which gives us appropriate variable resistance a key K2 is taken and it is connected to the negative terminal so the first step will be we will be closing the key K so that current flows here but K2 will be kept open so that no current flows in this circuit. Now we will choose a particular point J1 where the galvanometer gives zero deflection that means no current flows through this. Here there will be no current because the key is open and here also there won't be any current because the galvanometer gives zero deflection at J1. So it means that the negative terminal has a potential equal to that of J1 and the positive terminal has a potential equal to A. So the potential difference between positive and negative terminal which is the EMF of the cell will be equal to the potential difference between A and J1 which is given by VAJ1. So VAJ1 will be equal to the EMF of the cell. This was discussed in the earlier uh, application also. Now. Uh, this length is L1 between A and J1 so we can write here uh, VAJ1 is proportional to L1 which means VAJ1 is equal to some constant K which is the potential gradient into L1 so VAJ1 potential difference between A and J1 is the EMF of the cell so the value of EMF E will be given by K L1 now we move to the next step when we will close the key K2 this always remains closed K1 but now K2 will also be closed now we will choose a point where the galvanometer gives zero deflection that point is J2 that means through this wire here from A to J through the cell there is no current so that's why the potential difference between A and J2 will be equal to the potential difference between the positive and the negative terminal of the battery. But this time current is drawn from it because this uh, key is closed. So when the current is drawn from it, in this circuit there will be current. Uh, the external resistance here R is connected to the cell so the potential difference here is the terminal potential difference which is given by V. So the value of V that is the terminal potential difference between the positive and the negative terminal of the battery will be equal to the potential difference between A and J2 now. So VAJ2 here you see VAJ2 is equal to the potential difference given by V. So VAJ2 is directly proportional to the L2 the length here we uh, consider the principle of working of the potentiometer. So VAJ2 is equal to the constant K into L1. So finally the potential difference V will be written as K into L2. So according to the formula of the internal resistance E by V minus 1 into R. So we, what we can write is 
the value of e by v will from this relation k cancels out so it is in terms of the ratio of the length l1 by l2 minus 1 into the external resistance here this is the external resistance which is given by the <coughs> resistance box the value of the resistance provided by the resistance box will be known to us and that value of resistance is r here so this is the r which we are getting here so I hope that this is very clear to you. Any doubt here, you can post me the doubts. Uh, and you can also give me the feedback that whether everything is clear or not.